So, let's talk about following Balogun. Now, literally, as I was in the middle of watching the Arsenal-Chelsea game, which was absolutely brilliant, a story came on my feed talking about following Balogun. And it is said that following Balogun has decided that he's going to be leaving for free at the end of the season for, for Arsenal. Um, now, as you know, following Balogun's contract runs at the end of the season. I think Arsenal were looking to try to get him to a new deal. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. And it looks like he's going to be looking at all of his different options. And it said that a lot of European teams are going to be interested in him. And you could see why. He's a very talented young striker. Uh, he can hold the ball up really well. Looks to be in the mould of like a complete striker. Um, as far as I'm, I've seen. I'm not sure on how clinical he is as of yet. I think that's only something that you could really assess over the course of a season to two seasons but from what I've seen based on his Europa League performance I think he's a, a very good player uh, and it's said that he's not going to be renewing at Arsenal. Liverpool are supposedly interested in him and there is obviously the link with the um, uh, was that, I think it's John Henry that owns Liverpool Football Club obviously the US um, relationship with Balogun obviously being half American um, he, Liverpool have also said to be interested and that could be an option for him. It's more so been reported that other European teams have said to be interested in him. AC Milan, Atletico Madrid, Valencia are also said to be interested and PSG. As well as particularly where he's interested in the talks are is Germany is where he's looking to. So you would probably have to think like um, Dortmund, um, a Leipzig are going to be the sides that are going to be interested in him. And I mean, it's perfect for German teams to look at someone like a Balogun. So it just really makes sense that foreign teams would be interested in Balogun, half English, half American, you get for free. It just makes sense. So, I mean, it's a shame that we're going to be losing Balogun, but um, no, I wouldn't even say potentially. It looks like we're going to be losing Balogun full stop. Now, where he goes, whether it's a Liverpool or whether it's a team in Europe, we don't know as of yet, but it looks like Balogun is basically done uh, but we have enough talent young talent here up front let's not forget let's not forget Eddie Nketiah let's not forget Gabriel Martinelli let's not forget Tyrese John Jules let's not forget Amolo who they've just brought in uh, as, as well um, we have young strikers um, and even though you know um, we're losing a talented one let's kind of learn from this and let's start integrating a lot more of the ones that are close to being at that level John Jules is having a good loan so far I'll be talking about him in my loan report but we still got Eddie and Ketia there we still got um, Abamyang and Lacazette there so it is not over in terms of Abami, uh, in terms of Arsenal losing kind of an attacking force we still have young players there it's just a shame that unfortunately or not Balogun's future will not be at Arsenal but we got to talk about another player. Now, I'm a massive fan of his. Uh, I think he's much better in a defensive midfield role. Uh, his name is Ainsley Maitland-Niles. And it is said that Diego Simeone, Atletico Madrid manager, is interested in him to cover Kieran Trippier at right back. Uh, I said that he's interested in him. He's versatile. And also with the fact that he's also looking to utilize... Um, him in a midfield role to also cover Lucas Torreira who they have said that they are not really that interested in which has been a quite of a shame um, and it's unfortunate that that isn't, isn't the case with our Lucas Torreira. Lucas Torreira is someone who I think that we should be utilising our Arsenal. I think he is a massive upgrade on someone like Enel Nene in that DM role. I think he performs very well. Uh, and I think he could do a lot of the good things that we've seen El Nene do a lot. Like what we've seen him do at Arsenal. He's scored goals in big moments. But um, Atletico Madrid are said to be looking at Ainsley Maitland-Niles as being someone that could play there. And that full-back role. And it makes sense. Because like what we've seen Ainsley Maitland-Niles do at Arsenal. Simeone's probably thinking he could come and do the same thing for Atletico Madrid. Now, even though... Maitland-Niles has, hasn't played that much for the Arsenal first team. I do not think that Arsenal will sell Maitland-Niles. Maitland-Niles just signed a new contract at, at the beginning of this season. There's no way I could see Arsenal selling him right now. It just does not make any sense. 
but this is Arsenal and we make stupid decisions. We spent 72 million on Pepe. That was a stupid decision. You know, I, 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 I'm I, hoping we won't make another stupid one by selling Maitland-Niles. For me, it just, it, it doesn't make any sense. I think Maitland-Niles is a very good player. He's English, England international. And again, st still young enough whereby he can improve and continue to get better, even more than what he is right now. So I, I honestly have to say, I don't see it, but it's an option out there and we do need as fans to watch out and that one of our best and brightest young English players could be um, taken away from us uh, right from under our nose. But I'll be giving you my thoughts on that if that story goes on progress. But guys, thank you once again for watching this video. Please do remember to leave your comments below uh in the in, in the comments interesting to kind of get your thoughts on this or on this rumor what do you think about balogun do you care are you a fan of balogun have you seen much of him besides the europa league leave your comments below as well as ainsley, ainsley maitland niles uh, as well what do you think on or on him uh actually being linked with atletico madrid do you think that's actually even a possibility I don't, but hey, I, I got to report these things. I got to give my opinion on it because it's all it's all relevant to Arsenal in the grand scheme of things. So uh, leave your comments below on that. Um, do remember to continue to subscribe, like the videos. It does help the channel out. And I will see you all again next time. Peace.